Hey everyone, welcome to Signature Style. Usually before we going into a haircut or styling portion, we always go to a local restaurant or bar to see what they have mixed up for us. But since we have to stay inside, why not mix it up stuff? We have right here our at home cocktail. Obviously I've gotten into the whiskey a little too much this month, but um, I wanted to kind of show you the way we do a Manhattan. I got this recipe by my good friend Drew and he is over at Parkway uh, Social on the plaza in Kansas City, Missouri, and I just thought I'd make one the way he makes mine when I go there. So first off, we're gonna be using whiskey, a rye whiskey, um, vermouth, and some bitters, and we got our orange and all this fun stuff. So before we start, it's super easy to make actually. Uh, we have a cup of ice, put that in our little mixer there. Then we're gonna take our shot glass. It's one ounce here. Do, 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 do. We're gonna be doing two of those. Then we'll be taking our vermouth. He wanted Dolan Collins, it was like a sweet vermouth, so I could only find this vermouth here. I don't know, it's vermouth. It's a sweeter vermouth. One ounce there. And our bitters, this is an orange bitter. I like my Manhattans to have that orange undertaste, um, undertone, so I'm gonna be putting this old fashioned, just a boop, boop, boop. I do three little taps of that. We will be stirring. And then we're gonna be taking our orange here and we'll be just slithering off just a bit, little bit of the rind here. You're gonna be taking your cup here, going around the edge, just like that. And since I do not have a mixer, we decided to use a Yeti. So we're at home, you know, we're making things happen here. And you just take that out. Do not get the ice in. The ice just waters it down. Take your orange slice and just like that. And there we go, a delicious Manhattan. Thanks Drew for the recipe. Let's go get to our haircut. Hey guys, Joey Fiorito here, my husband Adam, Daisy. We are going to attempt a home haircut. This is breaking my rule from doing kitchen hair. It's not something I do and he always comes to the salon because I hate doing it at home. It just makes a big mess and everything. But with these circumstances, hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. So you all have been asking, how do I cut my boyfriend, husband, my friend's hair um, at home during this time? Because guess what? Our salon and barber shops are not open. So until we reopen, I'm just gonna keep it really simple so we can get by with what we got. The tools you will need are, first off, grab a towel, like a thin towel or a dish towel. What I like to do is put that around their neck and tuck it underneath their shirt. Because I've been seeing a lot of videos of like basically tons of hair just all over the place and it, it takes an hour and a half, it's so itchy, it's, it's crazy. If you have a cape, you can do that. If not, what I recommend is getting a trash, like a trash bag, you can put that over top so it doesn't get everywhere. And also you can just wrap a towel around. I've done that many of times without a cape. But since we have a cape and I'm a hairstylist, let's go. So these are the tools that you'll need. I have my hair clippers, this is Babyliss Pro, um, but you can use your Oster, Walls, whatever you can get from Target, Amazon, all that fun stuff. He likes it pretty tight, so we're gonna be using our smallest to our lowest guard um, to a step or a step and a half above, which I'll be using a one and a half guard there. Our hair cutting shears to obviously cut, but you can use your hair cutting shears that you get from Target or whatnot. Uh, and then, we have our razors. Our razor, this is a feather razor. It's really great. You can get this at Sally Beauty or whatnot or Amazon. Uh, and it has like a little guard for it. But you can also use your body shaver or your face shaving um, blade as well. Uh, our water bottle to wet the palette of our canvas here. And then also our comb. So this is a barbering comb and then we have our hair cutting comb. This is wider teeth to smaller teeth to grab the hair in different ways. Um, this one's really great. It's just a wider tooth, but you can use either one. Oh, also before we get started, while doing it at home, I find wearing shoes is the best way um, to do it because if you're barefoot, the hair gets really sticky on your feet and you'll be tracking it all through the house. So just wear shoes while you're doing hair at home. It just makes less of a mess. So what we'll be doing is clipping our half guard right on there. And what we're gonna be doing is really just flicking your wrist in an upward motion. It's just going, it's almost 
we call it like rock the boat, you know, just kind of rock the boat up. And what that does is kind of flick all that out instead of creating and cutting off too much. It gives you a little bit of like leave room for, um, for any mistakes that you might do. So when we're going here, we're just gonna clip this off. And people, you do not have to press hard. When he shaves my head or does anything, it's like, like just go lightly with it, just glide. And you can, instead of doing one full swoop, you can even just kind of, just kind of go up and down with it, but keeping that, that swivel motion. And we're only going up to that half of the, the head shape. To go around the ear, you can have them hold it down. Do you wanna hold it down? No, hold it down. It doesn't hurt them, but I like to go on this 45 degree angle, just around there. Still giving you that scooping motion. Going around there. By going up and down like this, it gives it just a little bit more like that, that soft faded motion. And the line that we wanna go is from here and go slightly down. This is his occipital bone right under here. If we go a little bit higher, I feel like it's a little bit easier to fade, but I'll show you that in a bit. And then we're gonna do it on the other side. Just to make sure that everything's even from side to side, uh, what I like to do is find this little mark right here, right in his temple. It's where it kind of shoots out just there and comes all the way back. That's where it, usually hairlines are, or just find a distinct mark on their, on their, their side. Um, and then go run over there, and this is where you're going to stop right there. So use that as a guideline. Make sure do not shave off his eyebrow <laughs> or yeah, his eyebrow. Cause he would kill me. When you're fading this part, um, I like to go just above it. I feel like it's a lot easier to fade um, above that than having that bone stick out. A lot of uh, guys usually sometimes might have um, a prominent bone there. So we like to just go above that just to create that. But for home haircuts, just make it easy. Just go slightly above it. And take it all out. And this lever thing. If you guys have this lever on your guards, this actually does something. Uh, when you have it all the way up, that means it's gonna be the closest that blade will get to that. That's gonna be your highest. And then if you want to take off as least of amount of hair, um, you wanna push that all the way back. But there's different notches on there. You can kinda hear it click. So, uh, but we're gonna keep it all above. So we have the one guard on. And we're just gonna go the rock the boat motion, you know, right there. That's all we're gonna do, little by little. And you're just chipping off that little corner there. So what we're doing is just creating that right there and just blurring that line all the way through. Um, what I like to do is take my lowest guard that we did the, the perimeter with, snap that back on. And these little bars here, if you have those, what I like to do is push that all the way to the bottom. And what that's gonna do is cut off very minimal amount of hair off that one blade. So it will actually blend that a little bit more for you. What we're actually doing is just doing like a half inch to an inch upward above that one line, just to blend that out. But we're still doing that rocking motion. So I'm gonna go through my biggest pet peeve and why I stopped there. I see this, I don't know what if, if it's just in Kansas City, it's not because I see it on the internet too, but this men's haircuts are supposed to be square, square, not round. I see this and he gets so mad at me when I point it out, but you see it a lot, don't you? When you go above this parietal ridge here, and it goes all the way over, and they think their part line is above their eye, and then they keep all this. Well, then you have this weird mohawk kind of awkward haircut. I see it all the time on TikTok, <laughs> yes. Instagram. And they're really bring your hair way up there. Yeah. And so what I like to do to prevent that is if you comb forward, and that will determine where your actual part line is, and you can flick that down there. And this is what a square haircut will be right there. So 
Let's do that again, mess it up. You're going to go forward, comb. You will see where your hair naturally goes. And then everything else goes there. That is your natural part line. This is where you do not cut that off. We will be blending that upward, but do not freaking cut it off if you do. And I've seen so many home haircuts that it has done it. I'm like, ugh, you did almost so well. But, no. And what we're gonna do is scoop upward and take that hair and go all the way through. If it's not cutting, it's because that little bar is not all the way up. We wanna make sure that it gets a good cut. And this is just our clipper over comb technique. Something very easy. Go slow with it if it's your first time doing this. And also what I like to do is scoop up and out slightly. So it's just this like scoop up and out. It gives you a little bit of that little notch there without cutting off too much of that ridge. So what I like to do is kind of forward, comb that like in a 45 degree and then scoop up and out again. Scoop up and out again. And this is your, that occipital bone right there. So what we're gonna do is go on a 45 degree angle there, scoop up and out a little bit too. All right, re-wet that top there. And we're just gonna do something very similar to what he already has. We're just kind of trimming up what he has so it goes over to the edge there. We're gonna take our comb here. What we're gonna be doing is taking off about an inch worth of hair. What you're gonna do is scoop it from your the round crown of your head and we're gonna be taking off about an inch there and going all the way over. And what I like to do is instead of cutting it completely straight because that will just be a straight haircut all the way over, what I like to do is scoop that up and then tilt it just slightly. And that way the longer side is gonna be longer and then we're cutting off the shorter side. As we work from the front, we're literally just scooping that and going to that last section in the back here. So if you can actually see this from the side, we're just going, instead of going straight up, we're going, we're just moving it to the back. So we actually keep a little bit of length so you don't get those short little bangs. With that angle that we had when we went from long to short, now you can kind of see all that come to action. Actually, I want to go a little bit shorter on here. And then take that section from the front all the way to that previous section. Just pull it back so you create that length in that front so you don't take off too much. But what we're gonna do is trim around the edges and the ears. No guard, so there's no guard on this. It's just, we popped it off with a little notch all the way up. And we're just literally scooping around the ears. So what I do is just, that it's just cartilage. It's not gonna hurt. Just move that out of the way and then go from there, bend that, and just use the corner of your, your clipper all the way around, just snagging all that. Oops, no, I'm kidding. Just to clean up around the ear line. And then here is one of the things that most people mess up. This is your natural hairline here. So what you're gonna do is just take that off, just literally just kind of flick that off. You don't wanna go above that, above that line because then it just looks ridiculous. So this is your neckline here. <laughs> so we're just gonna follow his natural neckline. You literally will see just a little bit of that. Just take it and just flick it down. And just kind of clean it up. Once you create that line, then you can flip your, your clippers up a little bit and do that same like rocking motion, but just slightly. What I like to do is take a little bit of that conditioner, shaving cream, or anything, and just kind of roll on there. And you can use your razor that you use for your face, or bodyscaping, manscaping. <laughs> um, but I have a feather razor. Um, it won't cut you, it's just a little as a blade on it. But you're just going to lightly, lightly take that hair off and gonna wipe off that hair there and clean up that kitchen. So this is the point where they can hop in the shower, 
or just, you know, clean up and you can blow dry a little bit more. Add product to it for your desired style. Ta-da! So for the styling, he just got out of the shower and there's nowhere he's really gonna go, but we still wanna look good while we're still staying inside and being safe. So what we're gonna do is use MacGyver. This is our Evo MacGyver. It is a multi-use mousse. It's very foamy. It's really cool. I love it because it's very light and fluffy, but it bubbles down into like a pomade, which is really cool, like a lotion. And what you're gonna do is just use your fingertips in there and maneuver it around to kind of place your hair in the way you want it. You can let it air dry to create this nice like little wet look, or you can blow dry it in and create a softer look with it. So it's super versatile. If you, uh, let's say you go out in, um, and you go run, take a walk, and you kind of sweat a little bit, you can just blow dry it back in or re-wet it to reactivate it. It's really cool. Well, there we are, our at home haircut today. Thank you to my husband, Adam, for being such a beautiful model. Um, have fun, guys. Um, you know, just stay in, stay safe. Um, hopefully this will all be over soon so we can get back to the salon and give you a real haircut. Uh, but yeah, for now, have a good time staying at home. Bye.